the different types of DBMs. Now, let's say you don't know about DBMs, okay? And I have given you list of all students of scalar. So, how will you store it? How will you store the list of all the students of scalar? Okay, some might say, let's store it in Excel Sheets. Some say, let's store it in Google Sheets. Some say, let's store it in files. So, these are some of the methods to store data. Now, can these are also considered as DBMS? Can I say these are also DBMS? Actually, yes. In fact, the original way people used to store data in computer system was files. Okay, so the very first type of DBMS is files as a database. That is files-based DBMS. Okay, now let's take an example of Scalar code. So Scalar wants to store information about what type of data? Information about student, then information about mentors, information about instructors, information about assignments, TAs. Okay, now Scalar say, okay, for each and everything, for each and everything, I create a new file. Okay, so the files are students.txt to store information about students, then mentors.txt, instructors.txt, and assignments.txt, likewise. So, Scalar say, okay, there are multiple lines in the file. Okay, and each line represents the information about one student, one mentor, one instructor. So now, let's create a student file. Let's say this is students.txt file. Okay. This is students.txt file. Now, so the first line represents information about first student. The first student, let's say, is one. Name is something enrolled in some year and all the information. Let's say second student enrolled in 2019 and all the information. Let's say third student enrolled in some year and this is all the information. Now. Of course, there is an instructor's file, there is a mentor's file and different, different files. Now, can you see a problem here? If I store data, if Scalar wants to store the data in the form of files, create a different file for each and everything, students.txt, instructors.txt, mentors.txt. Can you see a problem here? If I'm storing information in files, what's a different problem that arises? Actually, there are several problems. So some of the cons of storing data in file-based system are, the very first is searching. Let's say I want to search RAM if RAM is present in Scalar. So for searching RAM, I have to go to whole file. First one, then Rohit, then 2019, then all the information, then second, the Mohit and all the information, then the RAM. So, even if I don't need the information about Rohit, about Mohit and all the students, then also I'll have to go to all the file, the complete file. Because the thing is, in files, the data is read in sequential manner. In sequential manner, like byte by byte. Okay. So, the first byte, then second, third, till it matches the value you want to search. So, the searching, the travels, the iteration becomes very slow, becomes inefficient. So, searching is not efficient and it's very slow. Because in files, data is read in sequential manner, one by one. Okay. Second problem is redundancy. Redundancy means duplication. Let's say I have a file, students. And I have another file, instructors. Now, uh, there's a student, one, let's say name Rohit. 
and its role uh, its phone number is 9376 okay now rohit is also an instructor so name is rohit 9376 now rohit wants to change wants to update his phone number so he updates his phone number 1234 now somehow he forgets to update it in instructor's file so what happens can you see another problem arises here the first one is the first one is you are storing one information at different places so that is duplication is there second thing is it leads to another problem that is inconsistency inconsistency means data is not consistent is there is any way you know that which phone number of rohit is correct if you want to dial if you want to call rohit if there is any way you can know if okay 9376 is the correct phone number or 1236 is the correct or latest phone number of rohit no so it creates inconsistency in my data okay so the first problem is redundancy and redundancy creates another problem that is inconsistent the data is not consistent throughout my file okay third is security if someone gets the access of a file so it can read your whole data of course there are uh, passwords out there but passwords is in the file so if you get the password of the file you will get the whole data you now you will get the access of the complete file so third issue is security there is no such security concerns in the file now fourth fourth one is concurrent access if let's say there are two users who wants to read data from a file let's say this is my file okay this is user 1 user 1 wants to read data okay so how file work is whenever you try to read the data you try to open the data there is a pointer a pointer to reading position so there is a pointer is given to you at the point you are reading and the one thing to note here there is only one pointer for one file so one pointer for one file now user 1 is reading the data now let's say in somewhere in between user 2 appears and he user 2 also wants to read the data what happens is he able to read the data no because there is only one pointer which is used by user 1 at that time so user 2 has to wait till user 1 completes reading the uh, file then user 2 open the file takes a pointer and then reads the data so concurrent access is not there the two people cannot able to access the same file at the same time okay now so you can see there are different cons of using file based systems so they are of course not the most efficient the most used uh, database in the real world so there is more sophisticated more complicated and more featureful database management system out there in uh, that is dedicated dbms it's more featureful than compared to file based systems and it's actually used in the real world nowadays okay so what are the different features of this dedicated dbms apart from all the cons which we discussed there are some additional features which are provided by dedicated dbms okay what are that the very first and important point is backup backup what if you lose data you can able to regain it because there are backups at every certain interval of time weekly monthly daily okay so even if you lose data you can able to regain that data okay so the very first and important feature is backup then the second important feature is concurrency so dedicated dbms allow multiple users to access the same data the same dbms at the same time how it's possible we'll look into that after some time okay then the third is secured 
what happened in file there in files data is stored as it is in the disk but in dedicated dbms nowadays data is first encrypted then it is stored okay so security it's provide encryption first data is encrypted and then stored okay in file based dbms in files data is stored as it is okay then the fourth is very important is efficient efficient access efficient access and storage so dbms makes it possible actually the smooth and easy access easy way so you can store and you can access your data okay so by using dedicated dbms it becomes very easy very smooth for you to store to manage to manipulate your database okay because it's actually stored in an organized in a structured manner right so the fifth one is integrity nowadays dbms allows you to avoid inconsistencies there are certain integrity rules out there which helps to avoid data inconsistencies we look into data integrity dbms integrities all the constraints in our further videos okay till now integrity means there are certain integrity there are certain rules which helps to avoid inconsistencies okay now the sixth one is views in previous uh, also we discussed that views means to have different views for different end users let's say you have a table in there this table you have information about four students and uh, the ta team in uh, scalar code base the ta team is there ta team wants to access the data wants to access those student wants to see those students who have not paid the fees yet so let's say there are two students so what you can do instead of giving the whole data to the ta team you can actually create view you can actually create view and give that two students data to the ta team okay so views of course it helps to get security instead of giving the whole data you can create views and you can just give the required information to the person and access control now one problem arises here access control now ta team has the complete access of this view now there are information there are information about students there right let's say there are one student named one rohit the phone number of the student so ta team can actually manipulate can change your data because you have given access control so ta team can actually change your data so there is another feature that is role based access control that is some uh, that is called rpac role based access control means you can actually give protections in that like uh, you can only give write protection write protection or you can only give read protection okay so you are giving this data this data to the ta team but you are uh, giving it with read protection so the ta team can only able to read the data they not able to make changes in the data so these are some of the features some of the additional features that dedicated dbms provide so they are actually used nowadays okay in real world nowadays dedicated dbms are used okay so some of the features are quickly revise it backup so whenever if you lose the data you can again able to regain that concurrency very useful multiple users to access the same data at the same time security encryption lock then efficient access and storage because data is stored in an organized in a structured manner so it's easier for us to access the data to store the data integrity integrity constraints to helps to avoid inconsistencies in the data then views we'll actually see how views are created this is the example but we'll actually create views in our own tables okay so just wait for that till now basically views means to give the certain certain security access to the 
person like let's say you are giving there are four students you only want the person the other person certain thing to view only certain part of your data okay so you have created views on that and another thing is there is role based access control that helps to give additional security write protection read protection okay 